A YouTuber asked me the question about this drawing. He wants to know what it means. Well, I'm going to draw a very simple AC generator. Here's the wire loop that we're going to use, and the output is all the way to the left. In this video, you can see the construction of this simple AC generator. We're going to rotate the wire between two magnets. I'm going to draw the wire where the dotted line is edge on like this. Here's our two magnets. We've got a north pole and a south pole and the blue lines are the magnetic fields and of course there would be many 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 more lines and notice that the sine wave is gone we are set up at zero voltage as we take a look at the progress of this wire cutting through the magnetic field we're also going to take a look at the electron flow in the wire here we have started the wire loop rotating and we're going to keep the rotation speed the same. We're not going to change it. And you'll notice on the right that our sine wave is beginning to grow. There's a little bit of voltage there. And in our wire, the electrons are beginning to flow. Now the wire loop has rotated some more and notice that our sine wave is continuing to grow and the electrons are flowing more in the wire and that is because the wire loop is cutting across the magnetic fields at less of an angle. Here the wire loop is cutting across the magnetic field straight on and we have the highest output and in the wire the most electron flow. The wire loop continues to rotate, but notice that the voltage isn't as high. But if you take a look at the wire, there's electrons still flowing, but not as much, but notice that it's still in the same direction. The wire loop continues to travel, and notice that it's getting less, and now we are at zero, and there's no electron flow in the wire. Now let's take a look at the sine wave so far. At the peak, that is when the wire loop has traveled 90 degrees. Now that we're back at zero, that wire loop has traveled 180 degrees. The wire loop continues to rotate in the same direction, same speed, and look what's happening now. Some negative voltage is being developed and look at the wire. We have electron flow, but it is in the opposite direction. The wire loop continues to rotate and we reach a point where it is the most negative. The wire is still rotating and now we are heading towards zero, but notice that the electron flow is still the same, but becoming less and now we have reached zero. Now at this point, the most negative part of this sine wave, the wire loop has traveled 270 degrees, and then when it gets back up to zero, it has traveled 360 degrees, which is exactly where we started. The wire loop continues to rotate and I'm going to let this run for a while so you can see the relationship between the wire loop, the sine wave, and the electron flow in the wire. Thanks for watching.